Hi. So here we are, Wednesday of Holy Week. It's interesting. The Bible says nothing about what happened on Wednesday of Holy Week. There's a lot yesterday. So many chapters in the Bible, I couldn't read them all. There's a lot that happens on Thursday and Friday. But Wednesday, the Bible doesn't record anything. Things happen. Jesus did things. He taught, I'm sure. But the Bible doesn't record it. And so it's kind of like the, the calm before the storm. And so I don't have anything to read today as far as what happened on Wednesday. Instead, I'm just going to read a part of a psalm, Psalm 22. A words which you are going to find familiar because they definitely play into what happened on Holy Week. This is Psalm 22, just the first few verses. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from my cries of anguish. My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. In you our ancestors put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried out and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. So I'm going to take a little bit uh, here to um, talk about Good Friday, specifically our Tenebrae service, the service of darkness. So it's one of my favorite services of the year because it is just a powerful service. You know, we start with all the lights on, and then as the service goes on, that the lights go off and, and gets darker and darker, and, and it symbolizes visually um, Jesus' life going away. S something that, that you just you have to experience. Well, we can't meet in the sanctuary this year for Good Friday, so it's going to be really hard for us to experience that watching a, a video of the service. And so maybe if you want to, you can kind of take the Tenebrae service to your home this year. If you want to, you, you can kind of recreate that, that feeling of the lights going down and, and ultimately off and being in the dark, reminding us of Jesus' life going away. So, so if you want to participate in, at home in the Tenebrae service, you're going to need a few things. First of all, uh, you're going to want a candle. Any kind of candle you have, um, if you have a bunch of them, great, whatever. If you want, you have a candle. And then, of course, you need a lighter, something to light it with, um, and you'll have to blow out the candle eventually, too. Also, in the service, you're going to want a piece of paper. Uh, it can be a little pad, it can be a big piece of paper, whatever. A, a piece of paper for every person uh, in your family that's going to be participating. And then also a pen or pencil, something to write with. And then, um, kind of as a, as a bonus, if you want, um, if you have a cross around the house, you, you can get that out as a reminder. Um, this actually happens to be a, a cross someone gave me um, for my confirmation a few years ago. So, um, so if you want to participate at home, uh, you don't have to. You can just watch the, the service on, on the video. But if you want to bring this home and, and make the experience part of what you're doing at home, candle, lighter, paper and pen or pencil, and, and as a bonus, a, a cross to do that. Our Tenebrae services on Friday are at 6 o'clock and 7.30 on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you, and have a, a blessed day.